El fotógrafo iraní se llama Reza de Gatti y es muy importante, pero Mariana nos va a explicar por qué es tan importante, por qué es conocido en el mundo. Es un fotógrafo legendario porque, primero, que es uno de los grandes fotógrafos de National Geographic, viaja por el mundo, pero además ha estado en las zonas de guerra, en Siria, en Alepo, Afganistán, en Irak. Eh, él no solamente se dedica a sacar fotos, sino que además capacita, entrena, le enseña a la gente a mostrarse a sí misma, a sacar sus propias fotos. Eso es lo que hizo con los chicos, con los niños de Fuerte Apache y de la Villa 21-24 y la muestra puede verse ahora es parte de Bien al Sur. Estuvimos con él. Un fotógrafo no va a cambiar el mundo, pero un fotógrafo va a cambiar a las personas que van a cambiar el mundo. Y creo en él. Creo que el fotógrafo puede cambiar la mentalidad de las personas. Training, especially children in refugee camps or in the favelas or in a very difficult neighborhood like here in Fuerte Apache or Villa 21-24, this is not only training children to photograph. This is through their images creating a relation between the people of the city and themselves. To, because you are afraid of something that you don't know about. When, when you get to know about it, then you, you find that, no, why I'm afraid of these kids? Why I'm afraid of the people that having such a life? That's how they're creating the solution. What did you get from your work in Fort Apache? In in here was one of the most incredible things which I have seen in the past 30, 40 years of my works. Because the people here, from the first day, they were depicting a place which is like almost, you know, everything's bad and the, the, if you go there you will be killed, if you go there you will be robbed, if you go there. So, and then I find They told you that not to go there. Everybody it was... here was telling me this, not to go there, don't go there. But then I find that people of Fort Apache, they are such an incredible, gentle, one of the nicest people you can ever see. The only thing is that they are living in a, you know, in a place which is nobody taking care of them. such a beautiful girl. She's in, in, in different covers, in yes, different yes. editions. Where, where is, is she from? She's from a, a small village in Afghanistan that was overbombed. The, the village that was bombed more in the Afghan history. The whole village is destroyed because this is the place which Bin Laden and his people supposed they're living. But they have gone already long times ago, but the coalition forces keep bombarding the villages for five years. And so she is the girl which was lived during this bombardment. And even if the whole village was destroyed, but for me, everything was in her eyes. All the destructions, all the horror of the war, you can see in her eyes. Here, I think we were so moved by this uh, picture that went viral of this uh, colleague of yours, a photograph in, in a war zone, uh, weeping, crying because uh, a child was dead beside him. Yes, he tried yes. to save him. Yes. I mean, he dropped his camera to, to yes, help yes, him, but he, yes, could, yes. he couldn't do it. Uh, have you been in situations like this? hundred times. hundred times I have been in situation, more even. Uh, because the, the struggle that you have in this situation is that I am here to show to the world, so I have to keep my, you know, I have to keep my mind and uh, ready to photograph it. But in the meantime, sometimes you can't. So pe when I am in a situation that the people like need my hands, then I draw up my cameras. 
But if not, I cry and I take pictures, always. So you did not gain immunity to those You things. can. If I got immunity, you will not touch with my picture. You know, that's the whole thing. <laughs>